Comparative genomics is uh, the, uh, where we compare the genomes of different organisms. Uh, we compare them for their gene, uh, gene contents. We compare them for their uh, location of genes, and we do those comparisons for both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Availability of the genomes make it possible to have a comparison of the proteins also. So we can have the genomes, we can translate them into the proteins, or we can get the actual proteins, and we can do those protein comparisons. Uh, that kind of thing is called as uh, comparative proteomics. We will deal with that in a later section. Orthologs are the genes uh, which are present in two organisms, and they are so similar that uh, it seems like they share the same uh, evolutionary history. Uh, we can call them as orthologs, whereas paralogs are the gene families uh, originating from gene duplication. Uh, they may be within the same uh, organism. Here is in this diagram, uh, we see that the similar genes are called as homologs, and in the homologs, then we can have groups like orthologs and paralogs. So orthologs, for example, if we start from the bottom, we start with some globin gene, and then there is a gene duplication. We have seen that earlier. So it has become a beta chain gene and an alpha chain gene. And then those alphas, they are here in these three different organisms. And they are similar, so that's why they are called as orthologs. Now, if we look into those genes which are having similar, but they get diverted through this and but where uh, we can have them in the same organism, so they are in the mouse. So we, in mouse, we have alpha globin and we have beta globins. So these organisms, uh, they may be classified as paralogs. Now, if we compare the fly drosophila with the worm C. elegans, we see that despite that these two have larger differences between them, the core proteome is of similar sizes. Uh, nearly 30% of the fly genes have orthologs in the worm. Comparing drosophila with human, Interestingly, uh, though some of the disease genes are absent, but we can see a number of uh, unknown counterparts to human cancer genes are present in drosophila. So drosophila can be used as a good model in cancer studies. We conclude that comparative genomics uh, reveals the relationship among different organisms, and fruit fly have more similarities with mammals. So we can use that, uh, especially in cancer studies.